This is the plaintiff, Christine Bullens. She says she purchased a car from the defendant, and as it turns out, the frame was rotted. It won't pass inspection, and the woman royally ripped her off. Well, today is judgment day, because she's here suing her for the state max of $7,000, and she expects to get just that today in court. This is the defendant, Vishwa. She says the plaintiff's a crazy person who showed up at her job and threw papers in her face in front of customers. Meanwhile, the woman's lying about the car because she took it to get inspected herself and it passed. Bottom line, the car was sold as is. She knew what she was buying, a 2001 car for $700. Now the woman's suing her for seven grand? Good luck, sweetie. She's accused of taking advantage of a woman in need. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Christine Bullens. Yes, You are suing Vishwa. You've asked to be referred to only by your first name. Yes. For $7,000, your state maximum, you say you're out actually thir over $13,000 over the purchase of a $700 car. <laughs> please to explain. I purchased a vehicle from the defendant. For... How did you find the vehicle for sale? She had an apartment for rent, and I went to look, and she informed me she had some vehicles for sale. One of the vehicles I did show interest in, the 2001 Malibu, and she said there was nothing the matter with it. It was running great since her husband passed. It didn't need it anymore, et cetera. We talked about it needing a battery. AAA came out. She built the battery price into the purchase price, and uh, which is where I come up with 823. How much did you pay for the car? 823. Okay, because you bought a new battery for it. Yes. Okay, so you buy the car and the battery, and then what happens? We together take it to Jason's Auto Body and left it for an inspection sticker. The following day, I called, assuming to be able to pick up my new vehicle, and Jason informed me the car was uninspectable due to a rotted subframe. Uninspectable? Why doesn't it just fail? Do you have a failed inspection or don't you? I do. Okay, can I see it? Thank you. Thank you. Where's the actual, this isn't a failed inspection report. It's not in the format of an inspection report. How did you pick Jason's auto repair? He had done the inspection on her on that same vehicle two years before. He was very close to the house. Okay, who picked Jason's auto repair? For the inspection, I did. You did. When did you get this document that you're handing me? Or is this a photocopy? Where's the actual document, please? While you're looking for that, um, did she contact you and tell you mm -hmm. This isn't going to pass inspection, or this didn't pass it. What did she say to you? She had texted me that it didn't pass. You're selling me a lemon. You did this and harass, harassing me okay, on the phone. Okay, let me see the text messages. All right, um, what were you looking for over there? I found the original documentation from Jason's. It's not on... Gotcha. Um, like this type of report he did do on the vehicle two years ago, and that's his That's standard. right, and that's the kind of report I'm used to seeing. Yes. That shows it was inspected. To this my says he has concerns subframe. I have concerns, it concerns about it prevent, about preventing, uh, I have safety concerns preventing passing state inspections. Why isn't it an actual inspection? That's what I don't understand. But did you talk to Jason? No. I didn't go because she she was claiming. Like you see, you know what you're supposed to have. It's that. What happened when you got this? I called her and told her. Because you end up leaving it at Jason's, right? Yes, ma'am. She did. Okay. And what does Jason say? Nothing. I okay. said I'm going to try to. Oh, thanks. Were you touching? Did you have to keep touching I did. it? It's going up. I'll see you tomorrow for the return of the money because I have nowhere to sleep. What does that mean? I was homeless and she knew I was purchasing the vehicle to sleep in it. To sleep in it? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. What had happened to you that you turned out homeless? <laughs> Long story. I don't know how to answer that, Your Honor. I think you do. You don't want to, and um, that's fine. But it, you know, I, it's I important only because you come in here and you're suing. You say you're out 13000 and part of it is boarding animals. So I'm trying to figure out how you found a place for the animals, but not for you. How many animals did you board? 
11 in total. 11 animals. How do you have 11 eight of them animals? Are, eight of them are geckos. They're caged. They're not single, like dogs and cats running around. Right. <clears throat> um, and why do you have 11 animals? I mean, that's I unusual, love animals. I guess. And, but then you ended up homeless because you were keeping those not animals? Not because of them, no. Okay. I was married for 20 years. Okay, and the marriage ended. So now, let me ended. just ask you, you, had you been living in your car when, uh, had, where had you been living before the I day you bought that car? I was in a motel for almost five months, which was just a few miles from the vehicle. Is that the where you kept 11 animals? Yes, ma'am. Were they Actually, on 13. I had two dogs with me as 13. well. 13. And did they uh, object to that, the hotel? Not at all, no. So what, why were you going to move into a car then? It was temporary until I got to my new position, which I was supposed to start August the 26th, which I wasn't able to because I didn't have transportation. So for one day you were going to stay in the car? Um, no, it was probably going to be a couple of weeks until I could get a couple of dollars saved up, and my girlfriend and my ex-husband were going to financially help me get into an apartment, which I am in now. You respond when she tells you, I need my money back. I have a place that can give a sticker. That's all you can say. I did what you wanted me to do. What does that mean? I have a place you, they can give a sticker. If the thing doesn't pass, she doesn't want a fake sticker. No, I was going to suggest another place where she can. There's one another next to my house. She picked Jason's. So there are other well, places. Well, that's because that's what you had picked before, and it was close to your house. Right, but you say, I have a place they can give sticker. That's all you can say. I did what you wanted me to do. The main concern was the battery for the car. She had checked out the car. That has nothing to do with the sticker. What were you trying to say to her there? Because that she can look for the other place where she may be able to get the sticker. I she didn't know she doesn't want to get a sticker that she shouldn't get. She wants to get her money back for a car she shouldn't drive was the premise. Mm -hmm. um, don't get too happy and nod because the bottom line is you still, according to the laws of your state, have to have certain documents to be able to do this, which I'm still not seeing. It is extremely dangerous to drive. Don't you care about my life? I'm shocked. I can get the sticker tomorrow for you. How do you know you can get the sticker? It's supposed to be a legitimate inspection. How are you suing for $13,000 over a $700 purchase? Can you explain that to me? The purchase price of the vehicle. The loss of wages for a new job I was supposed to begin the day after Friday. Why didn't you just start your job? I couldn't get there. Why don't you take public transportation like a lot of other people do? There was no connection over to Walpole Center. And who's that lady with you? Miss Mildeby. And who is she to you, I mean? She has become a friend, and she was also going to be my future co-worker okay. at this position. Where did you stay when you didn't have the car to stay in? I'm so, do you want I, to testify or don't I, you? I because do. you're suing for a bunch of stuff, including I having know. to board animals. And, you know, I need to know this stuff. Your testimony mm -hmm. is that was going to be your house. It's a very so, embarrassing situation, Your Honor. I'm sure it and is, it's but it's all, the embarrassing say. part has already been said. That's why Not I don't... Not really. I had friends and family put their hand out to me. And okay. I even slept on the ground. Behind CVS and not that overall. Okay. So did you stay at friends' houses? Once in a while. What did you do with all those animals? I boarded the cats and the geckos. Why I had the dogs with me. Why would you not board yourself me. before the animals? I don't understand. Because you can't take pets to a, a yes, shelter. Yes, I know. Maybe at some point you have to, you know, take care of yourself rather than 11 geckos or whatever it is. And I... Go ahead. My pets are the reason I'm standing before you, Your Honor. I live for them. I've had a hard time. I've had a 20-year marriage go south. My pets are unconditionally loving. They are pit bulls that I rescued. They would have been put down. I kept them by my side. Why would she have to pay your car rental of $745.56 from August 25th until September 1st? I had planned on returning that vehicle August the 25th or the 26th at the latest. Why? And, and I never took the car off the lot. She retrieved the vehicle. From Jason's? Yes. And what ended up happening with the vehicle? Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So if you buy a 15-year-old car for $700, do you still have a right as the buyer to expect that it will pass inspection? I think so, yes. 700 bucks, huh? I wouldn't buy a car that didn't pass inspection. Fair enough, but it's $700 and it's 15 years old. Well, $700 is a pretty good deal, so I, I, I might expect it not to pass inspection. Okay. Going inside the courtroom. She had um, 
filed a police complaint. She came to my workplace through this, oh, I'm doing this, so I'll see you later. So that day after work, I went to the police and I offered her to give her money back. And right. I can hear her out, outside in the police saying that she's going to sue me criminally three times more and I have a good paying job, I own a home, and it all started with the home application. She was looking to find a place for home, so I have an application. That was the whole concern. And I had heard her story a little bit. My sympathies go to her. I, I wanted to help her. So you're suing for 701 that you say you paid for the car, 122 that you say you paid for the battery, um, $745 for a car rental, um, $641.58 for money spent boarding Extended animals. Extended boarding that I hadn't anticipated. How long were you boarding the animals? It was a total of three weeks. The last week is the week I didn't anticipate them being there. How are you going to fit 10 geckos in cages in a car? There's a will, there's a way. And there's always a way with me. That's fabulous, but it's not impressive that you come in on a $700 case and try to make it into $7,000, much less four, thirteen. Because your credibility is important when you when you stand here, ten thousand five hundred and sixty dollars in lost wages. I had asked you for proof of I the fact that. that you had a job that would pay X and that. And I have that, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. And then you want her to pay your late fees on all your bills because you didn't pay your bills? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I, this, I have to tell you, I've been doing this a very long time, and I have seen people stretch it, but you stretched it beyond recognition. Who's Milda B? My support person. I'm sorry. Stand up, please. You're the employer? Yes. And I'm you're also her friend? Correct. Ah, there we go. And so you have handed her a letter mm -hmm. from Pride Max Fine Wood Cabinetry. Do you own that place? I do not. But Do they know you wrote this letter? Yes. Christine. Okay, where it says, I understand you lost your transportation, will not be able to start your employment with us. Correct. We are willing to extend the letter of intent for employment as we feel you would be a considerable help to our firm. How is it you think that I'm going to award 10,000 something dollars in lost wages when the proof of it is between you two and you two are buddies? I mean, you can't seriously think this is going to fly, did you? Come on. All right, here's where the problem lies. I, I don't like the text I saw there. I also don't like the lawsuit I saw here. I don't like, oh, I'll get you a sticker. You lose the point. The point is that it's supposed to pass the inspection. Yes. But you lose the case because you don't bring me the one thing. You live in a state that is so good to you that so long as you have a failed inspection report, they let you get your money back. It is rare to live in such a state. And then you don't get the actual failure. How am I supposed to know that's not the actual failure, Your Honor? That's not I'm my a, problem, I'm though. I'm a consumer. That, but it's not. It's not my problem. And you're making it my end. No, well, it is, right, because that's How what the law says. I didn't write what... the law. I just have to enforce and the law. I didn't study there the actually law. has I... to be an inspection where he says, this is what failed, and this is for you to be able to avail yourself of the law. Otherwise, it's just an as is sale like in every other state. I can't do anything about that. How am I supposed to know that's not the paper that I need? I don't know. How want? did you have an inspection that actually looks like an inspection report? Because that's from the, uh, the, yeah, the same exactly. vehicle. That's that's how an inspection before. report looks. When did because he give you this? With the car. When did he give you this document? Did you leave there with this document, or did you have to go back no, and get I it went once back everything to get it. hit the I fan? I went back to get it. Right. Yeah. It was over the phone. I went to pick okay. the car. There's Miss Bones. No I'm sorry for your situation. You have to do one thing: get a show me a failed inspection report. I don't have it, so you can't get your money back. My I verdict in this case by is for that, that says that it failed. doesn't do it. It's not a failed. How do I know that doesn't? do I it? don't care that you don't know. I care that you don't have it. Verdict for the defendant. Glad you had a lot of fun with me. No comment. Obviously, the plaintiff had no comment. She's a little steamed right now. The defendant is on her way out of the courtroom. Well, quite a case. Yes, it was. She thinks you were trying to do something fishy, I think, by mentioning you could get the certificate for the car. Were you? No, I was. Would it, I was would it have been to, legit? Well, I would have gone with the garage where yeah. they would pass and give the pass sticker. I was not going to do anything wrong because I have a sticker all right, here. That's all right. I just. I have a know. registration because I got the car registered after for my son, and I have an inspection sticker here. Okay. That it passed, so it is. Well, it's all too late now. Car's gone, right? It is. It is. Sorry gone. about that. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Wow, quite a case, Harvey. What do you think about this one? 
just so you know, Doug, FYI, um, a lot of states actually require that in any car sale that it has to pass inspection or the sale doesn't go through. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.